So you're writing your authority book, but you know what sales is a high converted book title. I'm going to show you how to use AI in creating your high converting book title so your books will sell off of the shelf. All right, so let's show you how to come up with your amazing book title for your book. And we're going to use AI today. But first things first, if you love this type of content where I talk about self-publishing, I talk about books, writing, I talk about all those things, hit the subscribe button. Also like this video. Let me know if you're writing a book and um, let's chat in the comments. Now, before you write your book, let's go over some well, some foundational pieces that you want to think about before we even come up with your title is first of all, you want to know your why. Why you are writing the book is is <laughs> as good as it's kept. When it comes to writing your book, you want to know why because your why is going to drive you to how you market the book. How much how much effort you put into the book is going to drive the vision for the book if you want to ask me because even if you for example if you're writing a book because you want to grow your business that's your why then you're in your mind you're going to know okay if i know i want to write a book that's going to grow my business i know there's a certain way i need to write or there's a certain type of book that you want to write okay if you are wanting to write a book to grow your business then you know writing a romance book is not going to do that if you know you want to write a book to grow your business or even use it as passive income for your business, you know that writing a thriller book is not going to do that for you. So knowing your why will help drive you to the writing of the book, how you market your book, how much time and effort you put into the book and the overall vision of the book. Also, you want to know your who. Who are you writing this book to? If you are a coach, a consultant, or a service provider, then you probably already know your who because you are serving that client. You are um, you have a coaching program. You have some type of service that you offer. So you already know who you want to write it to. Because when you know the who, again, that connects with the why as well. So all of these connect. And also knowing your what. What do you want to write about? And which I'm going to give you some ideas as we go through AI and the different AI tools that you can use when it comes to coming up with your title. Because when you have your title for your book, that's going to be so much easier to write. Now, I know some people that, and I've done this in the past, where I kind of knew what I was going to write about, but I really didn't know. So I just started writing. That could be good if you're writing a particular book, such as like maybe you're writing a book that's going to share your story. That's good for that. However, on this channel, I always talk about authority books and writing books that's going to grow your business, your brand, books that you can use for lead generation. you got to know what you're going to write about. Here's the thing that you can look at. Look at the content you already put out right now. Um, look at your social media, look at the questions that your audience is asking, look at the questions your clients are asking. All right. You then you can think about the what and what you want to write about. OK, so let's do a live demonstration. I'm going to first use chat GPT. Um, chat GPT is an AI tool that is very popular. Now, I use chat GPT plus. Um, so I upgraded to I think it's like 20 bucks a month. But you can also use the free version as well. The great thing about using um, ChatGPT and other AI tools is that you really have to talk to it as if you're talking to a person for it to tell you what, uh, what in order for it to give you the answer that you are looking for. OK, so let's talk about first. We got to know the topic. So in order to for ChatGPT to tell us, you know, the book titles. You got to have a topic, okay? First of all, let's ask ChatGPT, what are, are the book topics um, that people are searching for and um, spending, not spending, <laughs> What 
book topics that people are searching for and spending money on. Let's say what are the let's say the top ten book topics that people are searching for and spending money on. So let's see what Chat GPT tells us. It says, um, as for my last night, now this is back in 2021. So Chat GPT only dates back to 2021. Okay. Um, the chat GPT does not have access to real time data. So this could be, this could be a, a hiccup a little bit when it comes to topics. I'm, I'm just searching for topics that people are looking for. And this is back in 2021. So self-improvement and personal growth, fiction, um, cooking and recipe books, health and wellness, true crime, science and popular science. Um, biographies and memoirs, parenting and child care, history and historical uh, fiction, environmental and su sustain sustainability. Okay, let's take the self improvement and personal growth. I believe that's still a topic that people are looking for for 20, 2023. And these are books related to self help, motivation, productivity, and personal development. Okay, so let's say, can you? provide high converting book titles for let's say let's use this let's see let's use personal growth okay so here's some unleash your potential a guide to personal growth and success so if you are in personal development you're a personal development coach um, you help people to see their greatness. You help them to go to new heights. Um, these are some great book titles. Regardless, I know that the topics were not were 2021. I still see my professional opinion as a publisher that people are still looking for those type of books. Okay. So you got Unleash Your Potential. You got The Power of Positive Transformation. You got Mindset Mastery. Um, let me give you an FYI when it comes to titles. This is what I love about ChatGPT because they understand the assignment when it comes to book titles. You always, especially in authority book, you always want to have a title, which your title should be no more than four power words. So unleash your potential. The power of positive transformation, mindset mastery, um, unlock your best self, the success blueprint. Those are titles. Okay. So when you have your book, um, your book cover created, the title should be the biggest thing we see. It should be eye catching. And that's why it should be no more than four words. All right. Now your subtitle can be as many, many words as you want, but you got to make sure that the subtitle is clear. Your reader needs to know when I put, pick up this book, this is what I'm going to learn. This is the end result I expect after reading this book. So a guide to personal growth and success, elevate your life to new heights, cultivating success through positive thinking. So I know if I picked up Mindset Mastery, I'm going to learn how to cultivate success through positive thinking. So that means in my mind as a reader, I want to get better with my thinking. OK, so I know that picking up this book is going to help me. So when you're writing an authority book, you have to be very, very strategic about, you know, the end result that your readers are going to read. It doesn't matter if you're sharing your story. That doesn't matter. You have to make sure that your title and your book cover has to stand out. Because that's going to attract your readers, okay? We we learn and we see with our eyes first, all right? We don't care about the logic, okay? I, when I pick up books, I read the title first because I need to know, is this title for me, all right? Now, here's the greatest hat. The greatest hat is going to be Amazon because Amazon in the, is the place where all books So let's put in personal development book. Did I write it? Okay. Personal development books. If I was in personal development, I would first of all look at what's already selling. Now take a look at what I talked about titles. Their title is called The Sale. That's the title. It's big, it's theirs in your face. This title is Hidden Genius. 
is big, it's in your face. Now hers is um, imperfect, okay? Imperfect is there, it's in your face. So again, look at book titles, Atomic Habit, um, get out of your head, give yourself permission. So make sure, look at Amazon, let it be your guide, not to copy, but to look to see in your particular topic area, what's working? What are people like buying? Um, look at the, the uh, titles. Look how big they are that I said. The power of discipline is right there in your face. So if I know I want to work on discipline and um, knowing the power of discipline, I'm going to get this book. I probably already have it. Okay. <laughs> so knowing, knowing you have to make sure you're following because there's there. You know, don't recreate the wheel. Okay. The, the wheel is already here. Don't try to be, I know some people are like, I want to be different. You are being different by being you and putting a different spin on what's already out here, okay? But don't try to recreate the real wheel because as a book publisher, um, your, your, right here, their, their title is big, How Leaders Can Inspire Accountability, okay? So use what, what's already out here and what's already working, all right? So obvious this is working because these are selling you can look at their ratings so look at their ratings look at how many people um actually i don't think this one is another two that tells you how many people actually bought the book but if you look at the ratings uh 145 people left ratings for this book 860 people left ratings for this book okay um and look at the ratings okay they are 4.6 4.6 you know use amazon as research okay so you can use ChatGPT to help you, but you got to know your topic. So you have to know what you are writing about. That's why I went over those, um, those three questions you have to ask yourself when it comes to writing a book, because you want to be clear on that. Okay. Now, um, as a um, opportunity, I do have some coaching sessions that are available. So if you're like, you know, I need somebody to uh, chat with. Uh, about my book, you can go to chatwithsharita.com and I have some spots open for the next 30 days. So grab, I only have a limited amount of spots because I only take a, li a limited amount of coaching sessions. We can do a strategy session for 30 minutes or 60 minutes, okay? So I have some that are available. I um, host these calls on Tuesdays. Um, that's the only called the only day that I host them. So you can go to chat with charita.com and you can book your strategy session. All right. So I hope that this video helped you. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, let me know in the comments if this helped you. Are you using AI or using chat GPT? Are you using um, AI to help you with your books? Let me know in the comments.